While the results of human-bear conflict aren't certain, there is one undeniable fact. 10,000 years ago, the short-faced bear disappeared from the landscape. This event connects with the arrival of human hunters about 14,000 years ago. Along with the short-faced bear, the dire wolf, lion, mammoth, sloth, and saber-toothed cat were wiped off the face of the earth. The short-faced bear was the last to die out. Without conclusive evidence, scientists are still grappling with the reasons for this mass extinction. Currently, there are a number of popular theories. One is overkill by humans. I think the prime extinction method for Pleistocene megafauna was by human hunting. The only really new element in the environment at about 11 to 12,000 years ago is the arrival of human hunters that we call Clovis people. Scientists have identified 14 kill sites in the United States where humans slaughtered mammoths or mastodons. But there is disagreement on the significance of this number. Many experts feel 14 sites is too few to prove overkill. There's also another thought that's been proposed that when humans come in, one of the first things they do is they kill off predators. Predators potentially prey on the humans, and so you get rid of them. No evidence has been discovered that humans killed even one short-faced bear, saber-toothed cat, or dire wolf. Just the fact that humans are in the landscape isn't compelling enough evidence to say that it's humans that causes extinction. We know that humans and these large animals coexisted in other places on the, on the planet for a long time, and it didn't lead to their extinction. It is hard to imagine that a modest human population could have emptied an entire continent of its megafauna. This leads to the one factor that could be common to such a vast area, weather. Today, we are witnessing what climate change can do to the planet. Global warming is melting the polar ice caps, which will raise sea levels worldwide threatening numerous coastal cities. 17,000 years ago, North America witnessed rapid climate changes. A new theory suggests a comet collision was responsible. Some scientists believe there was a cold snap between about 12,900 and 11,500 years ago. This partial return to freezing ice age conditions put enormous stress on the ecosystem. We can tell from the isotopic analysis of the junipers that plants were greatly stressed. They weren't providing very much in the way of food, so there wouldn't have been very many herbivores. And in turn, there wouldn't have been that many carnivores. But detractors, again, point to a lack of evidence. Where are the deposits of starved or frozen animals that would be left behind had there been such a sudden climate swing? And how is it that the megafauna managed to survive numerous other glaciations during the prior two million years, only to succumb to the one that closed the Ice Age? So what happened to the short-faced bear? Dr. Paul Matthews favors a scenario where climate change caused the large prey animals such as mammoths and sloths to go extinct. This, in turn, caused the large carnivores that preyed on them to die out. Once they were gone, these predators weren't producing carcasses on the landscape for the short-faced bear to track down and steal. So eventually, you had such a low density of carcasses on the landscape that short-faced bears could no longer make a viable living. Lacking the adaptability to find other food sources and being solely a meat-eater, the short-faced bear died out. Interestingly, its relative, the grizzly bear, had to struggle with the same climate changes, yet it survived. Today, the North American grizzly, like Adam here, has the same abilities as his ancestors did 20,000 years ago. The grizzly has the ability to find food anywhere. 
starting with the bugs and slugs that live under the rocks. One of the things you saw the grizzly use his body weight as he got low to pull the rocks back. You also saw him, when he couldn't move them backward, you saw him shove them forward and he was in a rocking motion to loosen those rocks up to get him out. Plus, he has the brains and brawn to obtain hard to reach food sources. No matter if it's in a mountain stream or up in a tree. Unlike the short-faced bear, the grizzly has evolved in its ability to adapt to its surroundings. Although it prefers a vegetarian diet, the bear learned how to kill elk and deer in the lower 48 states, using short bursts of speed to surprise and blitz the animal. I think the grizzly bear took the short-faced bear's spot. Once the short-faced bear became extinct, I think the grizzly bear stepped right in there as our apex predator. It is believed that the short-faced bear lived on the planet for close to one million years. It finally slipped into extinction because it simply could not roll with the environmental punches that came with the end of the ice age. <laughs>